Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to Losers Become Winners for February 25th, 2020. Look at this. Save takes the lead with the alphas at 122%, and the world is melting. What's going on here? Let's go take a look. And before we do, ah, I got to correct this here. What happened was BRM... I said we had a hundred, we had a 32% on BRM on Monday, but it disappeared right after the close. What happened was I forgot to set my calendar. I had set my calendar back to the 20th. And there it is. So on so here was what happened was we got this on Friday, but we're looking at Thursday's numbers. Yes, my apologies. I did a beginner's mistake. It happens. You're tired, you're rushed, you're pushed, you're pressured. Something's going on, and the result is you have a, a mess up. Here it is. So here's the truth. The truth is, let's go to the 24th. And there on the 24th, BRM is at 18. We can actually go back and go back to the 21st, which is where I reported earlier. And there on the 24th was 32%. That was a 32% jump. So it would have been a last bar low exit here and then a last bar low, which is what I got. I got, I found it late last night. I was lucky and boom, we got stopped out today for a small loss, about $7. But the important point is that I was correct all along. So now let's get to today because today is what today is what counts. And let me go ahead and reset the calendar. One day from today. Reset. There we go. There we are. 122 for save. We'll get the BRM because it was an exit, but that will be at the end of today's discussion for those who want to hang around. Let's get to the numbers. That's what really counts here. And here is how it happened. Now you say, wait a minute, the market went down and you made a pretty penny? Yes, it's a put. Remember, I actually mentioned that in, in yesterday's video that we ran the scanner last week with my trading buddies and we were coming up with a lot of more puts than we were calls. And there's the truth of it. We had had four puts in play. Look at this. Alpha is in positive territory all four positions because we took the puts. I tabbed my entry rules. We triggered. Now, we are at 122%. We got to do something. So there is where we go. We, we will move to the last bar low or last bar high because we are as a put. It's the opposite direction. So we're going to go to 38.15. And we'll come here and want to change this to 38.15 and last bar high. This is a high, why? Because we got to put, you got to, you know, and this is why sometimes it takes a little bit of time for people to get to, uh, to understand this when you're in the opposite direction of the market. So, okay, so here we are and that is going to be coming uh, uh, 38.15. So, We'll do the order ticket later because I want to get to the other guys. I want to show you where their stuff is at. So what will happen is I'll move this to the here to the order ticket. All right. That said, SWK. Now, oh, another thing. This is really cool. This is a all bases loaded. Yes. All bases loaded. Look at this. Bases Loaded. Any out will do. That's correct. What's going to happen here is we are 2639. It save only owes us 887. If market retreats and hits this marker, we are going to get out with a profit of more than 887. If the market continues going down. We'll just keep running this down until it turns and reverses on it. It's going to reverse. Somewhere along the line, it's going to reverse. 
But what it does, it's going to pay us a pretty penny and save would have paid back its owed and be retired to the winner's circle. All right, let's go on now to SWK. Let's go see what's going to be happening with those guys. And those guys, they have, this was a fireball hipper dipper. And what is a, hit, a dipper hipper is that we had, we took, remember, I am using some of the day traders playbook, tore the page right out, right down to the, right down to the, to the bind. And there it is. We entered it here. We got here and we are at 98% and then it passed our 30% rule. It also too will come here as you do. I'm also doing a measurement on ratio. This is a ratio exit trade, not, not the trade, but this is a ratio exit ruler. That will be more down the line when we have a little bit more time than things settle down. So what's going to happen is I would be doing a stop right here at this high of 152.35, right there, 152.35. And also, too, look, it owes, SWK owes 10.17. I don't know where the big numbers are. Right? This is bizarre, but anyway, 10.17, and it's running 10.60. Holy cow, two winners to retire to the winner's circle. Oh, that'll be so sweet. Just before the end of February, that'll be a nice return for February. All right, that said, let's go over now to Ma MasterCard. And here at MasterCard, the situation at MasterCard, the same thing. Remember, we got, now, you're going to see a green candle. I said, wait a minute, you got a green candle and you took a put. And I said, yes, why? This here trade that we're looking at is not a highly defended private secret. No. It is Michael Colville. Michael Colville was a, 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 a trading developer, and he came up with this price closes below the 30-day moving average line. My other indicators are down here. I used to see there's a new indicator to join the party. That's the RSI. And when these guys all agree in, what happened here was down, down, down. That doesn't count as ATR. So the bottom line is right there. The close is below the 30-day moving average. I said, okay, fine. If you break below the low of that candle, I'm in the trade. And boom, I'm in the trade. And MA ended up at 62%. Yes, it's going to be another last bar high right there. What did they owe? They owe 2018 since 2018. Look at that. They owe us 10 to 18, and it's from the year 2018. That's right. I am going back in time and getting back my money. Look at this, 1218. Oh, my goodness. The word 18 is all over the place. But the bottom line is that we stand with a very strong potential of getting three winner circles by the end of the week. And, yes, this account moved up. Remember I said – the other day on Monday, it's kind of weird. It went up a thousand. It went up a thousand yesterday, and today it went up two. Well, it turned out it's because I had puts. I did the right thing, unvertly. That is what you call subconscious muscle memory. All right. So we're going to be going here now. Let's go to our last position with the QQQs. And the QQQs. Now look at this. They owed us $2,032 from 2014. Yes, people, money is good. It doesn't matter what year. If you find, if you find a 1901 paper dollar, <laughs> keep it. That baby's going to worth some money. So here's the point. Now, it didn't hit our 30% rule, but it did get below. The candle did clear the 30-day moving average, not moving the stop here to the 30-day moving average and protect that profit. We're all shooting for 596 and it got only 230 back. Hey, rock becomes pebbles, pebbles become profit, profit pays this payback. All right, that pretty much, that, that sums up for the alphas. Let's go over to the Tigers League. No, USO is down. They got some, they have some buying power. With all, the, with all the puts coming about, we got to go check to see what's happening there. So concluding with today, we're going to go right here to our, our, um, our, big, our big baby of the day, and that is save at 122%. And that concludes today's losers.
become winners. Oh, I'll do how to do this correctly. And there it is. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. This has been exciting. Very exciting. Take care. Catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.